Okay, so for the first video of the day, let's do this one. It says, Loratadine is a drug used to treat allergies and marketed for its non-sedating properties. Determine the following characteristics around the specified atoms in loratadine. And then we have the table over here, okay? So we can do it whichever way you want. Should we go through A first or should we go down the columns first? Which way? A first. A first? Okay, wonderful. So then let's just do it. What's the hybridization of A? Can you do that already? SP2. SP2. Why would you say that? Like how many what does it have around it? Three bonds. Three. What do we call those things? Three electron groups. Electron groups. Okay. So you got to remember that. That's how you get to sp2. Okay. So if we have sp2 hybridization, then what's the electronic ge domain geometry? The electronic geometry. Trigonal planar. Planar. Yeah. Trigonal planar. So that means the bond angle is what? 120. 120. Right? So what's the molecular geometry then? It's going to be same thing. What? Planar. Trigonal planar, right? Yeah. You okay with that one? Yes. Okay, which one would you like to do next? Which one's exactly like that one out of A, B, C, D, E, F? F, right? So tell me again, what's the hybridization of F? SP2. SP2. Why would you say that? It has three groups. Three electron, electron groups. groups around it. Yes, very good. Okay. What's the electronic domain geometry? Trigonal planar. Trigonal planar. Okay. The molecular geometry? Planar. Trigonal planar. And then the bond angle? 120. 120, very good. So you see that? Whenever it's like that, that's the bond angle. Okay. So let's move on to let's move on to D. That's an easier one. Okay? So what's the hybridization of D? SP3. SP3. Very good. And the electronic domain geometry, what's the electronic geometry? Tetrahedral. Tetrahedral, very good. So why would you say that one? It has four groups, mm -hmm. electrons groups. Very good. Okay, so tetrahedral, molecular geometry? Tetrahedral. Tetrahedral too. Why would you say that one? Do you remember? Because all the electron groups have a what on the end of them? Atom. An atom on the end of them. Right? So that's the molecular structure. And then what would be the bond angle if we had that? 109.5. 109.5. Very good. And just a few minutes ago, you were having a hard time with this. Yeah. This is you. I'm real proud of you. You're doing really good. Okay. So D was easy. Let's try E. That should be fairly similar to that, right? Mm -hmm. So um, on E, Right, on D we see all the hydrogens. How many hydrogens are not being shown on E? Two. Two, so there's two hydrogens there that we gotta remember, okay? Mm -hmm. So if that, that's just like on F, how many hydrogens are there? One. One, so that's why we have that 120 degree bond angle, right? So, just to show everybody on the video. Right, we have that H like that. So on E, if you want to, you can do like this. Put your H's there if it helps you. Okay? So, um, how many electron groups do we have on E? Did Four. we say? Four. So what's the hi uh, hybridization? SP3. SP3. Uh, the electron domain geometry? Tetrahedral. Tetrahedral. Um, molecular geometry? Tetrahedral. Tetrahedral. And the uh, bonding? 109.5. Very good. 
Okay, so let's try these harder ones. So the harder ones have heteroatoms, okay? When we look at carbon, it's the hydrogens that are implied. But when we look at the heteroatom, what is implied there that isn't being shown? L lone pair. The lone pair, right? The lone pair. So if you want to, we should stick the lone pair on that nitrogen. So how many lone pairs are on that nitrogen? One. Just one, right? So let's stick it there. And now we can determine how many electron groups very easily, right? How many electron groups do we have? Four. Four of them. So what would the hybridization be then? Sp3. Sp3, very good. So since it's Sp3, what's the electronic ge domain geometry? Tetrahedral. Tetrahedral. Okay, so this is where it gets a little weird, right? Okay, so what's the molecular geometry? And why is it different? Oh, what's the molecular geometry first? The number of atoms around. The, yeah, it's the number of atoms is why it's going to be different, right? Mm -hmm. So what is the molecular geometry? Trigonal plane. Is it planar? Uh, no, pyramid. Pyramidal, pyramidal right? Yes. It can't be planar if you've got four electron groups, yeah. okay? That's all right. So what is it again? Triang triangular pyramid. For pyramidal, yes, pyramidal. very good. That's all right, you're good, you're good. Trigonal, pyramidal. Okay, and then the bond angle, what is that going to be? 107.3. 107.3, right? So that's going to be just less than 109.5. So why would it be less than 109.5? With the bearing of the electron? The lone pair, remember, it does what? It squishes those bond angles down. Mm -hmm. You're doing really good. You should be proud of yourself, okay? And then last is C, right? So how many lone pairs are on C? Two. Two lone pairs. So let's draw them out. Remember, a pair, one pair is two electrons, okay? So how many electron groups do we have there then? Four. Four. So what's the hybridization? SP3. SP3. If that's the case, what's the electron domain geometry? Very good, tetrahedral. Uh, what's the molecular geometry? Bent. Bent, okay, yeah, so that's the tricky one too, right? So since we only had two um, atoms at the end of two of those uh, uh, electron groups, right, it's going to be bent. So that's going to make the bond angle what? 1.104.5. 1.04.5, very good. Because that's just a little smaller than the trigonal pyramidal. And why is that? Because bent has two lone pairs, right? Are there any other atoms you want to go over in here? Maybe if I asked you just for fun, how many lone pairs are around that chlorine? Three. Three, very good. And what about that oxygen? How many lone pairs? Two. Two, very good. And just for fun, how many hydrogens are on that carbon? Two. Two. And what about that carbon? How many hydrogens? One. Oh, sorry, none. Zero, right, okay. Any other questions on this one? I think you pretty much got it, so you're good.